Hey everyone and welcome back. The rumors of my death have been greatly exaggerated. You guys know how it is, sometimes you just gotta work to pay the bills. But just to alleviate all concerns, I'm not going anywhere. I'm still gonna be making videos. Don't you worry about that, buddy boy. I just have to balance my day job and YouTube so I have enough money to pay the bills. So now that we've taken care of that, let's get down to business. So today we're gonna take on a person who basically thinks that black people can't be extremists. Can you fucking believe it? Well, we're not gonna let that slide, are we? What is it with these people and denying their own agency? Enjoy. Black identity extremism is bullshit. Oh, this is gonna be good, isn't it? I'd like to apologize in advance for anything I may say or do that could be construed as offensive as I slowly go nuts! Black identity extremism is the FBI's latest tactic to criminalize black activists. They don't really need to criminalize them when they're out there committing criminal acts anyway. But I do like to start. You're a conspiracy nut, and I like that. You guys are always funny. And justify increased police presence in black communities. Well, judging from how much crime is committed in black communities, don't you think that would be a good thing? If you look up black identity extremism, you won't find it online anywhere. Oh, okay, so I guess that's why I only got 10 million results on it. Because prior to a recent FBI report, it didn't exist. Oh, so the FBI is responsible for what your activist groups do. You think you might be putting a cart before the horse there, you little munchkin? The report that introduced the term was released August 3rd, only a few days before the deadly white supremacist rally that took place in Charlottesville, Virginia. <laughs> what? Are you suggesting that the FBI is in league with white supremacists? Oh yeah, baby. Keep those conspiracy theories coming. That sounds crazy, huh? Mm. Yeah. I, I, it, you gotta admit there are some holes in your theory here. In the report, the FBI creates a narrative of a dangerous, racially motivated group. Narrative. Mm -hmm. Sure they do. It's not like they're reporting the real truth or anything. But do go on. I'm having fun. Whose perceptions, air quotes, social justice retard confirmed, of police brutality against black people have spurred increased violence against law enforcement. Yeah, let's just forget about that pesky shooting in Dallas and all those ambush attacks. Right-wing extremism leads to far more police deaths than what the report cites. The report says what the report says, and there is no more credible source than the FBI when it comes to these things. And you can cite as many magazine articles as you want. That doesn't change the facts. And this year alone, 168 black people have been killed by police. Yes, and nearly twice as many white people. What's your point? Probably shouldn't have resisted arrest, huh? In fact, white supremacists and right-wing extremism are responsible for 73% of deadly U.S. domestic terror attacks since 2001. What are you, the village idiot? Yeah, right. Show me that citation, and I'm not talking about some fucking magazine article. But apart from that, do you know something about the Mandalay Bay shooting that we don't? Where the fuck do you get off showing that as some sort of example of right-wing terrorism? The guy tried to execute country western fans for Christ's sake. Actually, he did execute country western fans, you fuckhead! And have killed more than two-thirds of police officers compared to their left-wing counterparts. Yeah. If you include the Mandalay Bay shooter, you idiot. Despite these stats, police kill black people two and a half times more than they kill white people. No, they don't. I just looked it up. They killed more than twice as many white people. And kill unarmed black people five times the rate that they kill unarmed white people. Yeah, you've used up all your credibility when it comes to statistics, so get fucked. So, what is this distracting us from? Mm, here comes some conspiracy theories. In 2009, the FBI's Countering Violent Extremism Unit released a report indicating that the greatest domestic threat to the U.S. was the rise of right-wing extremism, 
a rise that was a backlash to the first black president. Mm -hmm. That was then, this is now. It's safe to say that the FBI zeroed in on a problem and took care of it. Now, we have new problems. When this report was released, the Republican Party took offense to the political overlap. Well, of course they did. Politicians are gonna politic. What did you expect? When they're not busy kissing babies, they're stealing their lollipops. Today, under the Trump administration... <laughs> Sorry, couldn't resist. The countering violent extremism body has been turned into countering Islamic extremism. Good because they commit 97% of all terrorist attacks. And now they've created the myth of black identity extremism. It's not a myth, asshole. That's not what the FBI does. All while right-wing extremism grows unchecked. But it's not unchecked. You said it yourself. They identified a problem 10 years ago and they took care of it. Right-wing extremists are violently anti-police and anti-government and have killed more people than any other group since 2001. Hey, moron! Fucking moron! Okay, that just falls flat on its own ridiculousness. Any other group. Have you heard of gang violence? Or how about Islamic terrorism? Interesting how you chose the term since 2001, seeing as how in 2001 they committed the most lethal terrorist attack in human history. Jesus Christ, you're a fucking moron. Today there's a minimum of 450 known white supremacist and right-wing extremist groups in the US. Sounds a bit overly dramatic. Well, I don't even know what that means anymore since you keep calling everyone fucking Nazis. You have totally devalued that word. Despite these overwhelming numbers, the FBI can only cite six examples of premeditated violence against police. The fuck do you mean only? When a group of people start thinking they have the right to attack the police, there is a big fucking problem. The examples indicate very different circumstances and ideologies, with race being the only common thread. What, is that supposed to comfort us? You're doing Doing it wrong. They cite the killing of Michael Brown as a galvanizing moment, making clear that the FBI is connecting this to Black Lives Matter, a consistent subtext throughout the report. Yes, because Black Lives Matter has turned out to be a police-hating terrorist group. The FBI is politically motivated to find an equivalent to white supremacists, even where one doesn't exist. Oh yeah, chasing things that don't exist will sure look good on their reports. Next, they'll take up ghost busting. That'll show those politicians that they're worth their money. This is simply the latest tactic the FBI is using to justify tracking and criminalizing black activists. For fuck's sake, you guys, we've been over this. You don't have to criminalize someone who is a criminal. The most famous example being COINTELPRO in the late 1950s, designed to infiltrate and neutralize black nationalists movements. Oh yeah, because the Black Panthers and all those guys, they were complete saints. This report will be used to criminalize and surveil black activists. Okay, asshole, that is the third time you've brought up that fucking bad point. Deja vu? Deja vu? Deja vu? seeking an end to police brutality. And most alarmingly, the only consistent thread that classifies black identity extremism is being black. Yeah, that seems logical. That doesn't mean they think all black people are extremists. The very premise of black identity extremism is racist. Oh, this is the best part. If you say there are extremists among us, then you're racist. Anti-black racism and Islamophobia are being used to trick people to focusing away from the very dangerous reality of right-wing extremism and white supremacy in the US. There you go with a fucking Mandalay Bay shooter again. The hell is wrong with you? The FBI has done this before. We cannot allow them to do it again. What? Catch criminals? Black is beautiful! Ooh, that wasn't cringy at all. Sorry to ruin your day. No, actually, I'm, I'm wrong about that. I'm not sorry. 